Ibrahim Ajop is not ready to give up his dream, playing football in Europe. He believes he can succeed where his uncles have failed. Ten years after they went missing, trying to make it to Spain's Canary Islands by boat, Jop is getting ready for the journey. If you leave filled with worries and apprehension, you won't make it. You need to take risks. You need to be brave. I'm a man. I'm willing to risk my life, whatever the outcome. For me, Europe is the solution. It is a feeling shared by these young men just arrived in Spain's Canary Islands. They come from Guinea, Senegal or Algeria, not fleeing war, but political and economic instability. Now in the hands of Spanish border guards who will decide on their fate. While agreements between the EU and countries such as Libya, Tunisia and Morocco mean there are less migrants crossing the Mediterranean, the Spanish Interior Ministry says they are facing an unprecedented surge of African asylum seekers coming through the Atlantic Ocean with a 530% increase on arrivals this year alone. It's a week-long journey from the shores of West Africa to the Canary Islands in southern Spain. And it's on boats like these that migrants pile up. This is where they eat and drink. Sometimes they run out of petrol and they come back to shore. And while it is dangerous, the human traffickers that we spoke to that did not want to be filmed say there is no shortage of migrants willing to take this journey. Jupp is packing his bags, some clothing, his football boots, and a prayer. Before leaving, he needs the blessing of the elders. Traveling to Europe costs thousands of dollars, a small fortune for these families. Mothers sell their land, even their jewelry, with the support of fathers. And from one day to another, we see young men leave in the pursuit of happiness. He has taken this journey before and failed. Faced with the shame of returning home empty-handed, he's convinced this time he will succeed. And ahead is the prospect of a new life. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.